What is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Today we have a very straightforward, simple concept video, but it's going to be extremely interesting. Let me explain. Basically, I've chosen four different foods and I have 200 calories worth of that food in these plates. Also, at the same time, I've chosen four different exercises that you can do at home because it's the coronavirus pandemic. Going outside is not smart, all the gyms are closed, so we're doing our workouts at home. The way this is gonna work is I'm gonna choose one of those exercises and I'm gonna do it as long as I need in order to burn 200 calories. Once I burn 200 calories, I'll come here and choose one of these four foods and see how much actual food I'm getting for 200 calories. At the end of this video, what we need to figure out is if 200 calories worth of burpees equals 200 calories worth of Oreos. What do you think? Let's find out. So we have all the foods layer here. We got 200 calories worth of that food in every plate. We got Henry, who's very excited to try some of that food, but he's not going to because that's not healthy for you, but you can't eat that. Anyways, I did have to go to the grocery store in order to buy all these things, even though I'm not supposed to and I'm risking getting the coronavirus, but I had to do it for you guys so I can make this video for you. And if that does not deserve a like, I don't know what does. Full disclaimer, I did have all this stuff at home. I'm avoiding going out at all costs. I'm trying to be super safe and I recommend that all of you do exactly the same thing. The weather's been pretty bad today, so if one of these things needs to be running and I need to go outside, that's gonna be a little tricky. So I'm probably gonna avoid the running because it's been rainy and shitty the entire day. And as I mentioned, we should keep all of this inside. So how about we start with some burpees? Burpees sounds like a good starting point. 200 calories worth of burpees. Here we go. A new workout here, it says zero calories and you know, eight, nine seconds, doesn't really matter. So we can know how much time and everything else that goes with it goes into this. Okay, do it. So far, about eight calories every minute. Cardio mode, still not a lot of calories. More than half of it is done. 150 at heart rate. Let's go. Not exercising at all for an entire week. That half its effect. Four calories left. But I'll just let my heart rate being 155. Take care of that. It's 196 calories, but my heart rate is up there, so by default, he wants to play. <laughs> there we go. 206 calories. Let's pause that. 21 minute, 21 second for 200 calories. All right, so let's talk about this. Uh, 21 minute and 21 seconds of burpees. Obviously I wasn't doing burpees all the time. Uh, I was taking a little bit of rest in between sets of burpees, but uh, that's a lot of burpees and it's only 200 calories that I burned. I don't even want to take a look at how much food I got for those 200 calories for that amount of work that I just did. But the main point is not about how many calories I got to eat for that amount of work, but it's that after this, 
Like right now, I can't even think about eating anything. But that's why about 40 minutes later, I could eat all of them like right away. And I'm not saying what's in the plates, but actually everything. I, I could eat everything. So which one should I choose first? I'm not a huge fan of Oreos and I kind of feel like I'm not gonna get many Oreos for the 200 calories. So I'm probably, because I'm hungry, gonna go with the Doritos first. Let's see how much is there. Well, that's actually a decent portion of Doritos. Not too bad. Pretty good. This is actually a fair amount of Doritos for 200 calories. It's a lot more than I expected it to be. But um, on the other hand, I can say that I could like sit down, watch a movie on Netflix or something like that and eat only 200 calories worth of Doritos. I'm probably gonna eat the whole bag and I don't usually buy this size, I buy the big ones and I can eat the whole thing. I ran out of battery there for a second. But however, burning the amount of calories equal to how much Doritos I can eat and actually eat when watching Netflix uh, would be highly, highly intense. My verdict on if the amount of training I had to do in order to eat this amount of chips is fair, I would say it's pretty fair. All right, so this next one might sound a little weird to a lot of you guys uh, because it's just walking. It's not even considered an exercise, right? But I promise you, it's one of the easiest, best, most effective ways to burn calories. When you compare the intensity of, let's say, doing burpees and just walking, but then compare the time frame uh, in which you burn a certain amount of calories, again, doing burpees versus walking, you'd be very, very surprised. But without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's see how long it's gonna take for me to burn 200 calories just walking. All right, so let's set this up. Exercise and walk, right? So let's start that. So we're about 10 minutes in. As you can see, I'm just walking, like I'm not sweating. It's, it's not hard for me to breathe or anything like that, but I am in cardio mode. My, my heart rate is 133. Let's keep on going I mean, we're very close to that 15 minute mark we already burned 120 calories what i know walking is awesome so 21 minute of burpees is 200 calories and of walking is 170 so like 30 calories difference between burpees and walking. Alrighty, we made it. All right, 205 calories, 24 minutes, 37 seconds. So three minutes more than the burpees. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Like three minutes difference between killing yourself doing burpees and actually just walking in your living room. That's why when people ask me, man, I'm going to the gym, I'm doing my cardio, like I'm eating properly, what more can I do to lose weight faster? I always say walk more because walking is an amazing way to actually burn a, a significant amount of calories without even feeling it. When you need to do burpees, it's like a thing that you need to do and you gotta like go hard at it and you're gonna sweat and it's gonna be difficult. But with walking, it's just another thing that you do. Like in the morning when you wake up, you can just go for a walk, just listen to some podcast or just do a book on Audible or whatever, and just walk for like 30 minutes and actually burn like 250, 300 calories, depending on your weight, age and whatnot. But let's get back to this table where I have foods that I need to choose from. Now, I know I'm, I'm gonna leave the Oreos for later but should I go with the chocolate covered peanuts or with the M&M's? I think I'm gonna go with the chocolate covered peanuts. Well, that's not bad either. I mean, it's not a lot, but uh, still just 200 calories. And if it's from walking without even eating these, I'm gonna tell you it's worth it. And these are actually very good. 
I love these. So 25 minutes of walking, listening to a good podcast or a book for these bad boys, any day, bro. The third exercise I chose to burn 200 calories is push-ups. Now, push-ups are not what you consider a calorie burning exercise, but it is super intense. I'm super excited to get a nice pump. So let's get it. All right, now just the same process as the first two exercises. We go exercise. There is no push-ups option. So we're going to just go for a workout and hit start and just go for it. All right, beautiful. This does take me into cardio as well. Right again, we're at like almost 10 minutes and as you can see, the push-ups don't really take me into cardio all the time. It's cardio, fat burn, cardio, fat burn. 15 minutes, 119 calories still. Cardio, fat burn, cardio, fat burn. Man, you need to do like a gazillion push-ups for 200 calories. And like five to 10 at a time at this point. Okay, it was somewhere around here where we had 200 calories with the burpees, but now we got like 180. All right, so we did it. 23 minutes, 26 seconds for 200 calories. A little faster than the walking and a little slower than the burpees. It kind of seems that no matter what kind of exercise you do, you're probably gonna need around 20 minutes to 25 to burn 200 calories. All right, so this one definitely, definitely made me sweat, but uh, also gave me a bit of a pump. So I'm happy about that. And let's choose the food, right? Right, Henry? What would you have? All right, let's go with the Oreos. I've been postponing them for too long. Four cookies is what I got. Four Oreo cookies. Not even gonna get any milk with this. Again, four cookies is not that bad. Four cookies is probably where I would stop anyways if I'm eating Oreos. So a gazillion push-ups. About 20 minutes, a nice pump, and four Oreo cookies. Not a bad day. All right, my people, now for this last one, we're gonna have to leave the apartment, but we're not going to be leaving the building. Oh, look at that. We just hit 10,000 steps. However, if there's a machine at the gym that I hate, like from the bottom of my heart, that's the Stairmaster. I live on the ninth floor of this building, so naturally, the idea came to my mind. I was like, why not go up and down the stairs, run, walk, whatever I can do, try to burn as many calories as possible, 200 to be exact. Now, I wanna think that this is gonna be the most intense one, and I'll burn the 200 calories the fastest, but I really, really don't know, so let's get out there and try, see what happens. Stair climber, start, let's go. This is so much harder than everything I did today. That was no fucking joke. 
All right, so let's talk about that. 200 calories in 19 minutes and 31 seconds. So that's like two minutes less than the burpees. So that one really kicked my butt, like literally kicked my butt, like I'm still sweating. So let's eat this m ms so I can go and take a shower. That's the only thing left. That's a decent amount of m ms again. Those are pretty good too. So my verdict again is that it is worth the 20 minute going up and down the stairs for this amount of m ms I think it's fair to say that we all know that it's harder to burn calories than it is to consume them. Like, we all know that if you eat a big ass bag of burritos uh, while watching a movie, it's gonna be pretty hard to actually burn those calories. But I kind of felt that I needed to make this video to remind myself and to remind everybody there that that's a fact. Because even though we all know that, we also all know that we need to believe in ourselves and that hard work pays off and all this good stuff. But we need to be constantly reminded of that because we tend to forget. All right guys, well thank you very much for watching the video. Please hit that thumb up button because I really busted my ass today to make this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I drop a new video every Monday and every Thursday. So a lot of new content coming your way twice a week. Subscribe to the channel, share this video, and I will see you in the next one.